Hi, welcome back to my mom life. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Jordan, and today we are making copycat Texas Roadhouse rolls and butter. To get started, I'm gonna show you the ingredients for the recipe. You're gonna need some honey, an egg, some warm milk. You'll also need some instant yeast, and I will have measurements and everything down for you in the description box. You will need some salt, flour, and some melted butter. And this is all just for the dough for our rolls. So to get started, I'm gonna warm up our milk. So I warmed it up in the microwave just for about 45 seconds until it is warm, not too hot. If you put your finger in, you don't want it to burn your finger or be too hot, just warm. And then you're gonna add in your honey and your yeast. And we are gonna let this proof for about 10 minutes and then we will add in the rest of our ingredients. So I'm gonna add in my yeast. I like to buy my yeast in the jar like this and I just keep it in the fridge because I make bread often, but you could definitely just use one packet of yeast. And I let it sit for a little bit, it starts to get foamy. And now I'm gonna add in our egg and salt and then our melted butter and flour. And then you're going to knead this in the mixer until it forms a nice, smooth dough. So you will see I have it going with the dough hook. You could definitely do this by hand or um, yeah, by hand, knead it by hand, but I like to use my stand mixer because I have this dough hook and it just makes it a lot easier. So don't mind the mess that I'm making with the flour, but I'm gonna add the flour in and then just let this go for eight minutes or so until it forms a nice smooth dough. And you'll see here what I'm looking for in just a minute. So my mixer has been going for a few minutes and it started to pull together and pull away from the sides. And as you can see, the dough is, is sticky but not sticking to my fingers. So that is what I was looking for. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the bowl from my stand mixer. And I'm going to add some oil to my bowl. So I just am collecting the dough up from the sides of the bowl forming it into a ball, and then I add a little bit of oil, just a couple tablespoons to the bottom of my bowl, and then I will coat my ball of dough in the oil so that it doesn't dry out as it is rising and it doesn't stick to my bowl. Once I get that all nice and coated in the oil, I'm gonna cover it with a towel and place it in a warm spot in my kitchen for about an hour to an hour and a half or until it is doubled in size. After an hour, my dough was ready to roll out. So I'm going to punch it down and then flour my countertops. Don't worry, they are clean. And I am going to roll out my dough and you just wanna roll it out into a large rectangle. And then we are going to fold that in half. Now, if you've never had Texas Roadhouse rolls, they're so good. They bring you as many as you want to your table and it comes with this cinnamon honey butter. Oh, I'm gonna show you how to make that too. Just wait, it's so good but um, they're kind of folded, they're kind of served in like, like squares almost and they're folded in half. So you'll see that I fold my dough like that in half and let it rise. That's just because I'm trying to mimic that shape that you can get at Texas Roadhouse. But this recipe is, you could make it however you wanted. You could shape them into circles if you wanted, but, um, or into balls like a, a traditional dinner roll but I was trying to copycat, you know, the Texas Roadhouse rolls. So that is why I folded it like this and they're so, so good. So I'm gonna roll it out into a pretty good size rectangle and then I will fold it in half and kind of smash it together again with my rolling pin just to kind of seal it up. But you will see that there are still kind of layers in there. So I'm gonna do that and then we are going to put the rolls once you cut them onto a cookie sheet and let them rise for another 30 minutes. So like I said, you're going to fold that rectangle in half. It's hard to get you know, a perfectly square. I always wanna go round when I'm rolling out dough. So I kind of square off those edges and just keep forming it to the shape that I'm looking for. And then I like to use my pizza cutter 
and just cut the dough that way into the size rolls that I'm wanting, but you could use a knife or however you wanna do it. So I'm going to finish rolling this out and then cut our rolls and then let them rise again, like I said, for another 30 minutes. So here you can kind of see the layers in there and it just makes for a yummy, yummy roll that you can kind of split open without having to cut it open to put butter in the middle. I don't know, it's really, really good. So I am going to put these on my lined cookie sheet. I just line them with the silicone liners, but you could use just a regular cookie sheet. And again, for the third time, <laughs> let them rise for another half hour just so that they get a nice rise on them and then we will pop them in the oven and bake them up. Again, I will have directions and ingredients and measurements all written out for you in the description box if you want to make these. After the final rise, this is what they should look like. They're nice and puffed up and ready to go in the oven. So I'm gonna bake these up and while I'm doing that, I'm gonna make our honey cinnamon butter. It's kind of like a frosting to be honest. So I have a stick of soft butter, softened butter, and I'm gonna add in some honey, some vanilla extract, a little bit of powdered sugar, and cinnamon. So. I'm going to, I did microwave my butter for just a few seconds just to make it super easy to mix up. And I'm just gonna throw everything into a large measuring cup or a bowl, however you wanna do it, and give it a good mix. And then that's all, that's all you do. You just let it sit um, at room temperature or in the fridge, but it's easier to spread at room temperature. So I just left it out um, until my rolls were ready to serve. You could definitely pop it in the fridge and pull it out um, a few minutes before you're wanting to serve it so it can kind of come to room temp. So I'm gonna give it a good mix and then you will see how yummy and delicious this looks when it's all done mixing and coming together. So our rolls are done baking and I have some melted butter here. I am just gonna brush the tops with some melted butter. I think this is key to getting that flour, that extra flour off the top and it just adds some extra yumminess. I mean, who doesn't want a roll covered in melted butter, right? So I'm going to brush each roll with some melted butter and then they are ready to serve up. These are so yummy. They were a huge hit in my house. They taste just like Texas Roadhouse rolls. And that cinnamon butter is to die for. You could definitely double that recipe and keep that in the fridge for, for anything. You could put that on anything. It's so good. So I'm gonna get all of these buttered and then I will show you what they look like all finished up. Here are our rolls with the homemade cinnamon honey butter. So, so yummy. I really hope that you try this. If you do, let me know what you think down in the comments. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. If you are new here, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around. And if you have any recommendations on any copycat recipes that you want me to try next, leave me a comment down below and let me know. I really appreciate you watching my video and I will see you on my next one. Bye guys.